Fiat is taking a sort of a new approach. The Italian automaker has told Bloomberg that it's going ahead with spinning off its car path business worth an estimated 6 billion euros. Joining us now from Milan is Bloomberg's Tommaso Ebhardt. Tommaso, I find the timing of this very interesting. Mike Manley, the incoming CEO, taking over from Sergio. Uh, this is one of the first things that's come out and it indicates that they are looking to simplify yeah. the structure. Should I focus on the timing? Yeah, so, I mean, this is uh, something that uh, uh, has been uh, uh, discussed for a while. Um, Fiat wants uh, to simplify a structure, so separate Magneti Marelli from the car parts uh, business. This is going to help also to have, a, uh, you know, a cleaner uh, Fiat class in case you will in the future discuss an M&A with a competitor. Now what we are hearing is that there are several private equity funds, uh, an Indian uh, group too, who approached to buy Magneti Marelli, but at the time Fiat uh, prefer to go ahead with the spin-off. Uh, you should remember that uh, somehow Marchione was a spin-off maestro, Ferrari, CNH Industria, and now maybe Magneti Marelli. Yeah, but I, the new guy wants to get this done, get it done clean. He wants to simplify the structure and get it done yeah. soon. I, he, yeah. He's coming in. It's th There is a period of instability here when the markets and employees and customers all try and figure out where Fiat is going next. What this does in some ways is sh settle the ship, provides a clear sense of direction. I, if I was him, I would understand what I, 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 can, I can understand from his perspective why he wants this news out there. So uh, this is clearly a, a, a decision which means continuity. Uh, the plan to separate Magneti Marelli was approved in April. The fact that they will go ahead with the board schedule in September, what we heard from sources uh, uh, yesterday, means uh, he wants to complete what Sergio started. I think that Mike Manley is showing continuity uh, with Sergio Marchione, even if he cut the, the targets as the first thing he did once he, he got the top post uh, because of, of some issues in China. So investors are really uh, trying to understand exactly which will be his strategy. The fact that he will go ahead with separating Magneti Marelli for me means continuity. Um, Tommaso, how do they fix their, you, you know, their, uh, I guess, catch-up play in China? How does Fiat Chrysler deal with what they need to do in China? Yeah, I mean, this is one of the biggest challenges for Mike Manley, as we uh, we wrote in the This Week Business Week issue. Uh, China, uh, Fiat Chrysler never managed to get a proper jump in China. Now they have a clear plan, which is Jeep, 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 localized production. But uh, in the first half, uh, sales uh, fell 36%. So they understood that they have a wrong approach in China, and they're now trying to uh, build a Jeep in China designed specifically, specifically for the Chinese market is clearly very important for them. They want to double profit in five years. Jeep expansion in China is the key for that project.